So this episode of Content Power Boom we're gonna talk about a racist idiot known as Joshua. Back in twat. The problem we have with Joshua is his attitude and behavior change, and I'm gonna show. You why. Remember that racist catfish known as Brian formerly known as Emma. He used to have a relationship with him online, not in real life but in online, are you kidding me? He has been manipulated by Brian's lies for five months making him believe that he's a girl. And until Brian confessed that he's not a girl. After Joshua known about Brian, revealed himself he came to my channel just to inform me. That he's actually a boy, after warning for weeks from me and other people that supports him. But first let's see the warnings and speculations from everybody including me, shall we? Honestly if you ask me, Joshua has no life. He just repeats the same things and always comes up with the word, gay 101. Nothing new. Plus he is just a keyboard warrior who can't do anything for real. And I pretty much think Emma is fake because recently Emma did a face reveal but what sus is that she just revealed images and not a video format of her. Saying hi. This Emma thing is fake ASAP and I don't believe it until it's a real proof. Joshua McIntyre I don't care if you're friends with Julio I just don't want you to be friends with a pred and you believed he was a girl you're so gullible don't believe everything someone tells you on the internet. Break up with him, he's a man named Emilio. He stole videos from creators who works hard on it. How did you found out the name? Lol Joshua McIntyre nothing it's a joke, I was. Being sarcastic but I'm pretty sure he's a man lol, but still I hope you come back better. Than ever while well, you take a break on YouTube. Then after all of those warnings and he goes back to that racist catfish. Like our advice. There's nothing. And what he done next it is worse. He's been saying racist stuff with Brian on his channel. And I have tons of evidence to show you all. So I offer him an apology for him to make due to amount of unforgivable stuff he said, and. As I expected it he did make an apology. And guess what happened? He goes back to Brian again after giving him a chance. So I go to his channel to put some sense into his stupid brain because he's not learning. At all. And this is what I said. What a good apology shaking my fucking head. All you have to do is distance yourself from. That racist catfish dude, he's done horrible stuff against black guys like Kerr and you. Wonder why people turn on you? Cause you never listen as always L apostrophe M done with your bullshit. Right now. And after that he just pinned my comment and never responded, he is a coward and an asshole. And people turned on him for being so ignorant and racist. And then he start beefing with. Us afterwards. So he attempted another apology and admit what he done and guess what he goes back. Crash to king us anyways, he is a fake nothing else but that. And one last thing he turned into like Brian when he is flirting with a 10 years old named Riddle here on YouTube. In summary he follow Brian's footsteps. Months passes by. He returns to my channel like he did nothing wrong. Simply just to bandwagon me. And I when ignored his comments he quickly deleted it. He can't think of himself for how much he fucked up before commenting. Joshua is just a cringy bandwagon simp who can't solve his problems. We gave him chances. And he chose a weirdo who's been lying to him. I will never forgive him ever again for how much have he done to us.